Nintendo just announced the release date for GoldenEye 007 coming to Nintendo Switch Online for the N64 expansion pack. And now that we have that announcement, we do need to have a small conversation about the future of Nintendo Switch Online. Because so far, we really only have a couple games left that Nintendo has previously announced that still need to release for the Nintendo 64. But what's after that? That is what we need to talk about right after I tell you about today's sponsor, E-Win Racing. E-Win Racing makes amazing office chairs. Seriously, I'm sitting in one every single day, whether I'm on set or over there editing videos. I use two different styles of their chairs. I absolutely love them. You can get them right now for 20% off. They have an awesome Valentine's Day sale going on. But the thing is, you can always use code Nintendo Prime to get 20% off your order. Look, you can split your order into four easy payments with Klarna or Afterpay. Pretty amazing stuff. They got chairs for all shapes and sizes from as short as 5'3", all the way up to 7 feet tall and 550 pounds. Crazy the amount of sizes and weight variances they allow on their chairs. It's awesome. They're comfortable. They've saved my back, and you can check them out down in the link in the description. <laughs> All right, so we need to first off talk about GoldenEye. It is coming out on January 27th. They released a new trailer today. Likely going to see an announcement as well in the Xbox Direct happening later today that we will be live reacting to. The, the thing about that is obviously there's a big difference between those two games. The Xbox versions are going to get an updated visual version of GoldenEye 007. Uh, the Switch is going to get the original version just, you know, up res to 1080p. But here's the thing... It's going to have an exclusive online multiplayer mode. So that is what really makes this exciting is Microsoft and Nintendo found a compromise where Microsoft will get the prettier visuals, but Nintendo will get the exclusive online. I sort of think Nintendo maybe got the better end of that deal. The multiplayer in this game, while it was technically a tacked on feature, believe it or not, it was not originally planned for GoldenEye 007 back in the day. They tacked it on towards the end of development. I think it's a really core feature and functionality of the popularity of the game. So I'm really excited that that's going to be available to play online literally in two days. I presume the Xbox version is coming out in two days, although maybe the Xbox version will be shadow dropped today during the Xbox Direct. Either way, Nintendo wanted to get this trailer out of the way before the Xbox Direct, clearly indicating that we're going to be seeing GoldenEye in that thing today. So I'm still going to be watching it and seeing what the new visuals and all that look like and talking about it. But hey, the 27th, that's exciting. Now, what we also need to talk about, though, is the future of Nintendo Switch Online. Because this, this, and I think it's like two Mario Party games, are all that's left to release about what Nintendo has already announced. Now, obviously, they release games all the time without announcing them, whether it's for NES and SNES. Genesis often releases like a pack of games randomly every few months. But what's really next for Nintendo Switch Online? Because this was that one game that we were waiting for. They announced back in September was coming soon. I guess when they said coming soon, they meant four months later. I don't know. To me, that's not really soon. That's still a little bit of ways. But whatever. What's Nintendo got coming next? Not only just for the N64, but what about for other possible systems? We know... Last year, there was actually a leak showing that they had worked on Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and Game Boy Advance games and had emulators at one point ready for Nintendo Switch. Is that an addition we're going to see this year? Maybe. Obviously, we don't know what Nintendo's going to do, but the fact that those exist in the first place seems to indicate that might be the next direction for Nintendo Switch Online. Maybe even announce this upcoming September since that seems to be the time frame Nintendo is always announcing the new platforms added to the system as for whether these platforms will be added to the basic nintendo switch online or the expansion i don't know i if i had to take a shot in the art arc, game boy game boy color should be probably at the same level of the nes and snes whereas maybe game boy advance while obviously it is just boasting snes level graphics maybe they consider that to be a more premium one and they want to put that into the expansion i could see that Maybe that's not the only system we're getting. What if Nintendo gets to work with Atari, right? We got Sega systems. What if we're going to get Dreamcast? What if we're going to get Sega Saturn? What if we're going to end up getting Atari 7800 or something? It'll be interesting to see if Nintendo works with other companies. What's next for the Nintendo 64 online? I find that to be really fascinating as well. There's a number of games that I could hopefully see them add to that service, but I just don't know how much more Nintendo's going to add. When you think about it, once they add the brux of the core games for a given platform, Nintendo tends to sort of back off and stop adding 
so many games. There's still a ton of Nintendo published games for the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Super Nintendo that we have not seen released ever, whether it was on Virtual Console or this new Nintendo Switch Online service. So I don't really know what direction Nintendo is actually going to go with this. All I can do is hope. And speaking of hope, let me just list off a few games I would like to see them add, at least to the Nintendo 64 service. So just to give you a few really neat options I would like to see, there's obviously the whole Cruisin' USA and the whole Cruisin' franchise. That's not yet on there. I would like to see that added. 1080 Snowboarding, I mean... Come on, 1080 snowboarding is pretty awesome. Excite Bite 64, we don't have that yet. Fully Nintendo controlled. What about Hey You Pikachu? I mean, it technically requires a microphone accessory, so maybe it won't happen, but it, it I don't know. Maybe they could find a workaround for that microphone accessory. Beats me. Uh, maybe they could be like, hey, if you have a Bluetooth headset or something, maybe that's how you can play that game. What about some uh, NBA courtside action? Maybe NBA courtside 2 featuring Kobe Bryant. I don't know. I like that classic stuff. Obviously, we could talk about the Pokemon Stadia games and how that all stuff would work. Uh, you know, things like Banjo and Tui. Hey, Banjo Kazooie is there, so why don't we have the N64 sequel in Banjo and Tui? Why not? Donkey Kong 64 and just stuff like that. It, this, this is just, there's a lot of other games that you could argue should be on the service. These are just some of my favorite ones that I would like to see added. Look, I, look we, in the end, we just don't know what's going to happen with N64 Online or Genesis. Uh, one game I, I think I want to see added to the Genesis, by the way. I'm just throwing this out there. I might be the only person in the world that wants to see this game come back. Rampart. I played the hell out of Rampart back on the Sega Genesis back in the day. A nice strategy game. Uh, sort of a tower defense game before tower defense games existed. It was a lot of fun. I'd love to see that game come back. There's a number of games we could talk about for Nintendo Switch Online, but the point is we're getting GoldenEye on the 27th, right? That's the big get. GoldenEye 007, really excited about that one. But what's next? Why don't you guys go down into the comments below and let me know what Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Entertainment System, and N64 games that are not currently on or announced for Nintendo Switch Online that you would like to see them add next? And then what new platforms do you want to see them add as well? Let's be more realistic. Let's not go as far as GameCube, but any platform pre-GameCube days, what would you like to see them add next? Whether it's a third-party platform or a Nintendo one. Let me know, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.